We're in Lincolnville, Maine right now on a parcel near the Duck Trap Mountain, and these are trees that were started from seed approximately 20 years ago, and uh, they have been tended ever since they were started because this was a, uh, a overcut site, uh, formerly a, a forest in here that had never really recovered from its previous logging operations. So this was an ideal candidate and opportunity to uh, start the chestnut plantation. This site is unique uh, in the state of Maine. I don't know of any site like this in Maine and perhaps in New England outside of maybe some experimental stations. But um, to have chestnuts this size and mostly healthy because of the blight prevalence is uh, it's, it's rare, it's simply rare. One of the characteristics of chestnut, one of its biological characteristics, is its ability to re-sprout and re-sprout vigorously. So if you severed, if you cut this tree right now, uh, next year it would send up new growth from the stump, multiple stems would come up, and those stems would be anywhere from four to six feet tall in the first year. The coal industry is, has pretty much adopted uh, the American Chestnut Foundation principally because they find that on the disturbed sites where they've uh, removed overburden, when they need to reclaim the coal sites, the chestnut does really, really well on those sites. Success is right here. That's reproduction. These trees are breeding themselves now. So the, the point is to get a stand established where you're no longer having to take care of the trees. The trees are take care of of taking care of themselves. So I, to me that's success. And they're getting more and more numerous every year in here as the squirrels and blue jays carry them out and move them farther and farther away. So this stand, like all chestnut stands, is on borrowed time. It will be attacked by blight and we will lose it. But as long as we've reestablished a greater number of trees in the interim, it's okay, the tree is secure.